Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. The opening line from today's gospel reading is a great challenge, a great reminder to us of our vocation as Christians to bring the good news to every person. We each do it in our own way. St. Mark, whose feast we celebrate today, his way of proclaiming the gospel was writing it down. Tradition tells us that uh, Mark probably had the earliest of the four gospels written around somewhere around the year 70 A.D., the shortest of the gospels as well, probably written for a Gentile audience. But his function was to make sure that the life of Jesus was passed on to future generations. And so he wrote down all that he came to know about Jesus. He probably did not know Jesus personally, uh, but knew of him through St. Peter, um, through Paul and Barnabas. You and I also have a function when it comes to proclaiming the gospel. We, each in our own way today and every day, are called to let people know about Jesus. And if we're going to let people know about Jesus, probably the first and strongest thing that you and I can do is to live the gospel, to live what our faith teaches us about Jesus Christ, how we're called to deal with each other, how we're called to reach out to other people, but to live the gospel. This kind of witness to the gospel is a very strong teacher. In fact, it's probably the strongest of all proclamations is to actually see somebody living the gospel. Now, if we're going to live the gospel, we ought to go into this with eyes wide open. And our first reading reminds us of a challenge that we're going to have to face. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. When you stand up for the truth, when you stand up for that which is right and good, as well as being true, there's going to be opposition. Because it's going to challenge the way other people are living their lives. People who rely on deception. People who rely on domination, etc., etc. They will not like the gospel message. And especially, they will not like those who are proclaiming it. So we should all expect to have some resistance, some opposition as we seek to follow the path that Christ has laid out for us. Nonetheless, though, living in this path of faith, we will find that kind of peace that we all truly desire, that kind of fulfillment that only our Savior, our Heavenly Father, can give. So let's pray for each other today. Pray for our brothers and sisters around the world who are trying to live their faith as best they can. Let's pray for the strength of the Holy Spirit to guide all of us as we continue on our path to the Lord.